There is no good reason to vote to redefine marriage. There is no good reason. If you think about all the reasons that are given to redefine marriage, they talk about marriage equality. But we already have marriage equality in Australia. Everybody has the right to marry somebody of the opposite gender and to found a family. They're not, they're not pushing for marriage equality. They're pushing for the redefinition of marriage. They want marriage to be something that it has never been and cannot produce children. We already have marriage equality in Australia. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe the catchy slogans. They talk about marriage equality. It has nothing to do with marriage equality when marriage equality already exists. It is only about redefining marriage. They tell us that love is love. But is love the basis of a marriage? I love my mother. I love my sister. I love my daughter. Does that mean I should be allowed to marry them? So obviously not all love is love. There's a reason why marriage is between one man and one woman, because a man and a woman create children. And the reason why government is even in the marriage business is because it's about protecting the rights of children and protecting the emotional well-being of the couple. They talk about redefining marriage because it won't affect your marriage. Well, polygamous marriages don't affect my marriage either. Does that mean we should allow polygamous marriages? Are we polyphobic? Is that why we're not allowing polygamous marriages? Of course not. Because that's not the reason marriage is between one man and one woman. They talk about denying people their fundamental and basic human rights. But is homosexuality included in the fundamental human right to marry? So these slogans, they're catchy and they're good marketing, but they are not good reasons to redefine marriage. In fact, they are dangerous because the same reasoning can be used to justify other sexual relationships such as polygamy. Why isn't there marriage equality for polygamous? Are we polyphobic? Why are the Muslim communities and leaders so silent in this marriage debate? If love is love, what about the love between multiple people? Is that not just as legitimate? How does a polygamous marriage affect your marriage? If you don't like a polygamous marriage, then don't get one. If the human right to marry is based on these reasons, then who's to say those that practice polygamy should be excluded? At least these relationships are capable of producing children. Are you denying polygamists their basic human right to marry and found a family? No, of course not, because you recognize that only one man and one woman can create a family, and that's why marriage exists. It exists to keep a society moral, and it exists to keep a society clean, and it exists to protect children, and to ensure that children are raised by their biological mother and father. Now, I'm not equating homosexuality with polygamy. Neither am I saying that one causes the other. What I'm saying is that the arguments that they use to redefine marriage can be used to support polygamy, which is why these are not the arguments used to support true marriage. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that men and women of full age, without any limitation due to race, nationality or religion, have the right to marry and to found a family. Now the reason why there is no limitation mentioned for sexual orientation is because homosexuals are unable and can never naturally and fundamentally produce children without a third party sperm donor or surrogate. One main reason the natural and fundamental group unit of society is entitled to protection by society and the state is children. So if you're making the yes argument based on this human right, you must accept that there will be consequences for children being denied of their biological parents because that will be the only way to fulfill a homosexual's right to found a family. Or you need to accept that homosexual unions are not a human right because they are naturally and fundamentally unable to found a family and therefore not entitled to protection by society and the state. What is the reason marriage is defined in our law 
as the union of a man and a woman to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. There is no good reason to vote to redefine marriage. Absolutely no good reason at all. All it will do is destroy our society. All it will do is take away children's rights. It will only cause further problems. The reason why marriage is between one man and one woman is because the sexual relationship between a man and a woman has the potential to create children. Marriage legally binds the husband and wife together in a union to the exclusion of all others, not only for their own emotional and cleanliness sake, but for the sake of the children their union may produce. Not every marriage creates a child, but every child has a mother and a father. Just because you cannot fulfill the entire purpose for marriage, that does not change its purpose. Because sexual activity has the potential to create children, this is why society has an obligation to contain the sexual act exclusively within marriage. <laughs> you all right? When sexual activity outside of marriage is normalized in a society such as fornication, homosexuality and adultery, we see the increase in single parents and broken families. This is the day we are living in when single parents and broken families are more commonplace than lasting marriages. The government should promote the strengthening of the ideal family unit by protecting marriage, not weaken it by re redefining it according to the unnatural sexual activity or behavior of a minority group. A good country needs good children and children and children do best when they are raised by their mother and father who are committed to the well-being of one another in loving marriage. This is the union that should be prom promoted and protected by the government. There is no good reason to redefine marriage. This is why you must vote no. We need to reverse this downward trend, not continue to push it forward and get this country back on track and get this country promoting the marriage, the true definition of marriage for couples and children.